So you're spending all this money on ads, driving people to your product pages on your Shopify dropshipping store, and then they leave. So what is the issue? Well, the issue can be a lot of different things, but in this video, what I'm gonna talk about is something that a lot of you guys get wrong, and that is copywriting for product pages. What is up, you beautiful people? My name is Reto, and in this video, I lay down the complete blueprint for you guys to follow along and create a kick butt product page for your dropshipping store and the model that I lay down in front of you can be used for pretty much any product and it just works because it is backed by a lot of data. You guys know I look at a lot of visitor recordings so I have all the data and based off of the data I've created a sort of formula for creating the perfect product page for dropshipping stores and I'll reveal it all in this video. I don't even know why I'm doing this for free but you know what. Let's dive in. So first off, there are primarily five goals when it comes to product page copywriting. And listen, copywriting is not just about the words that you write down on your product page, but it's also about how you arrange the images, all the other elements on your product page. Think of your e-com product page as a long form sales copy. And I'll make my point clearer as this video goes on, but you've looked at a lot of long form sales copy where you see uh, people selling their courses or software or whatnot. And those are like long, long, long sales pages that just keep going on and on. Think of it like a smaller version of that, but the purpose is to get that sale, right? You want to drive people from Facebook ads and try to close as many people as possible so that you get that purchase. Now, the goals of product pages are actually five. So what are the five goals of copywriting in product pages? Number one, entice emotion. Number two, generate hype. Number three, build trust. Number four, showcase benefits. And number five, address doubts. So when you have all these five goals completed, then you get that add to cart and you're that much closer to closing that sale. Now, the video or image that you're using to advertise on your Facebook ads or Instagram ads or wherever has already pre-sold the prospect, right? Because that's why they were intrigued in the product. That's why they clicked through and reached your page and then begins the hard work of closing that customer. And in order to do that, you have to remember one thing. You have to speak their language. Understand the product you're selling to what kind of consumer because all consumers are different. I've sold products in kitchen niche, in the toys niche, in the beauty niche, and there's a different way to talk to each of these audiences. And you're going to get a lot of examples of copywriting just by visiting the Common Panda page. You can look at a lot of product pages on there in different niches and get a clear idea of how I talk to people. But generally, you want to talk their language. Really understand understand like what are the key phrases and key words that they associate themselves with. So are you guys ready to see the model that you can base your product pages on? So let's go inside my screen and let me show you. So first off, you have the clean PNG logo that comes up on the top. It's a transparent logo. Make sure you don't have any random backgrounds on your logo. It should be clean. It should look good. And this is basically your brand. And then of course you have the header with the search box. Uh, on the top right should always be the cart icon because that is what people are used to where they can see their cart. And of course, this is the menu. Now the primary pick that you have on your product page needs to be enticing and professional. This is the first pick that people see of the product that you have advertised and it should be enticing, right? This is the highlight of your product page. And then what I've noticed a lot of people get wrong is that all the other images that you have of the product, people don't rearrange them. Choose images that are good looking, that don't, don't have any AliExpress based uh, icons or logos and arrange them so that it highlights variety, right? If you have different colors, if you have different variants and uh, different ways in which that product can be used. So highlight all that variety in these first few thumbnails. And the way to do that is by simply re rearranging the images in your product pages. And the way to do that is to simply rearrange all the images you have by editing the product inside your Shopify backend. And below that, you of course have your short and sweet title. And then you have a price, uh, the higher price that you strike off. And then you mention uh, the off or the percentage or the dollar discount that comes up. And what this does is shows people that you have a deal going on. Now, another mistake I see people doing is that they don't name the variants properly. So when you import products from AliExpress, sometimes they have options like from China or from United States. Uh, and then you also have options like A, B, C or some random numbers like 19, 20, 21, because many AliExpress vendors don't 
name their colors or variants or all these things properly inside aliexpress and all of that random data is imported when you import those products from aliexpress to your shopify store so make sure you rename your variants so that all the variants are named in a unique way right and below that you of course have your add to cart button and below that the guaranteed safe checkout where you showcase the icons and the secure thing which showcases trust and then of course you have the countdown timer that adds to the scarcity so all these elements like I talked about the five goals that I talked about earlier that you've got to hit inside your product page as well all of these are being covered right here and then comes the actual words in the actual product description that you can edit inside your product page inside Shopify and there are total nine elements that you need to focus on now of course as I told you earlier each product is different each product page has to be written differently and you don't have to go with all nine of these items uh, from the first day because what happens is you can start off with just a few of these elements and then when the product starts performing for you, then you can keep adding more and more elements to make this a complete product description. So I don't recommend creating your product page from the get go before you've even advertised it and spend all this time to create this entire product description. But trust me on this, you get you keep getting better with time as you keep doing it. Now, the first element is, of course, hype, where you mention 50% uh, off or 60% off. You mention there's limited stock. You also highlight free shipping. So this increases hype. And then you have a punchline, which is basically like a sub headline of the product, which tells people why they should even consider buying this product. It will be something that's unique that you have to write on your own. You can spend a few minutes thinking about what your punchline is going to be. But as soon as the punchline ends, then you've got to appeal to their emotions. So this this block of text is to appeal to a person's emotions. Now in the previous video about copywriting, I mentioned all these things about uh, all the emotions that people go through when they are making a purchase. So go through that video if you have not watched it and you, what you have to do is basically appeal to those emotions. And then what you do is you add an image. Now the purpose of adding an image is multifold. First off, it helps break all the text up because you've got a bunch of text here, you've got a bunch of text below here and what this image does, it, it, it helps break up all the text so that it doesn't look that boring because again people are coming from visual platforms like from Facebook or Instagram or other places like Pinterest and when they reach on a product page and, and they see a random big block of text uh, they are going to get turned off so we don't want that so you want to break up your content with images and this can be any image that is not featured in the images that are shown above here and this can showcase any feature it can showcase a different variety of a product it can showcase the product in a new light and this can be your alt image number one and after the alt image number one you have benefits now what are the benefits you can write down some bullet points about the core benefits again we're not talking about features we're talking about benefits because that matters in this block you don't want to write things like weight 200 gram voltage 10 volt you know you don't want to do all of that here this is just purely for benefits we showcase how their life is going to be better so as i told you earlier people buy benefits they don't buy product attributes people buy results and experience that they'll have once they buy the product they don't buy the actual product right so in these benefits you have to showcase the result and the experience that people will have after they buy the product and after that of course to break up that text again you have another image and then you can add FAQ or instructions now again FAQ or instructions is optional a lot of these things are actually optional and you can keep building them as your product keeps selling more and more because in the first day with before you've even tested the product you don't want to spend like a few hours writing down this entire thing you can of course create your FAQ and instructions based off of all the comments and feedback you get in your ads right so you go through all the comments and you go through all the messages and then pick out most of the common questions that people ask and create a FAQ or if it's a product that's a bit technical to understand you can add some instructions on how to use that product and then of course you have the guarantee my famous five point checklist that you can add you can add your own sort of guarantees here for shipping for refunds for all these other things and then of course you want a final call to action which showcases that limited stock is there the discount is there they have to click the add to cart button above and just below this trust image you'll have you'll also love these and what this does is it it helps increase your average order value because if people are interested in this product they might be interested in other related products and the way you do that is you add a bunch of products inside a collection and from that collection the products will be pulled in to show here and they'll be tightly related so they don't just end up buying one product but they end up buying multiple products from you or hey if they're not interested in this product and they suddenly see another product that they're interested in from here they might buy that one right
So your goal is to close the sale, whether it's of this product or any of these products. All right, so after this block, you have reviews. And now for reviews, I want to highlight an important thing. A lot of people get this thing wrong. Uh, they showcase the reviews when if, even if they have zero reviews, right? And I've gone through a lot of beginner-based Shopify stores, and a lot of them just add the Luke's review app or the product reviews app, and then it just says zero reviews. Listen, zero reviews does not help your case because what this does is this actually uh, turns off the visitor who is actually browsing. They're like, wait, nobody has bought this product, so why should I buy it? right so you want to showcase reviews only if you have reviews so what the luke's app does is it imports reviews from aliexpress including images and you can showcase those images and those reviews from customers who've actually used that same product that you're advertising inside this block here but make sure you only put up this block for products that actually have reviews if you have zero reviews don't do that if you have more than five reviews yes then you can showcase the review block here and what this does is it adds the social feedback which definitely helps uh, then the footer comes in where you have your logo a logo blurb you have some links uh, all of these add legend legitimacy to your store uh, helps increase trust uh, helps make them more calmer that you know they are buying from some place that is legitimate and then of course you have the credit card logos uh, which increases comfort like whether they are using visa or mastercard or paypal all those logos are here so they are more comfortable buying from you so this is the entire product page model and i'll be sharing the pdf file of this it took me a while to create this entire thing i'll be sharing the pdf file of this model right here in the description below so you can go check that out but what good is a model without showing you some examples so let me show you a couple of examples to really hit home the point that I'm trying to make here all right so the first example I want to show you is the super nail gel that has done really well for us uh, it is sold uh, over hundred thousand dollars for us and this image right here uh, this is enticing it is professional it showcases that nail gel in a good light and as you see here I've arranged the images so that we have the uh, most people what I noticed was they were having issues with actually applying or seeing how the nail gel performed well this image uh, showcased that and then you have the product use method and then you have all the other variants come up and then the entire list of images goes on and on but I've rearranged these images to highlight the most important benefits first and then of course you have the title uh, you have all the variants again I've named these variants properly soft pink clear pink tender pink and then of course the big bold add to cart button the guaranteed safe checkout the countdown timer to increase the scarcity uh, this is a bundles app and then of course this is the first part that I was talking about uh, the hype part and then this is the punchline our awesome new super nail gel is a must have for the fashionista in you get them nails done good and quick right and then I appeal to them that emotional appeal save money and time by ordering the complete super nail kit for gorgeous nails sitting right at home and then of course I showcase the discount like buy the pink gel set or complete gel set and save big choose the option above and then you have all these images that come up that help break the text and then you have the benefits that come up uh, here uh, where uh, we've mentioned like with proper application the super nail gel lasts for two th two to three weeks again here i've not mentioned things like uh, we have six colors and the weight of the product is 120 grams none of that no odor non-toxic 100 percent cruelty free and environment friendly so again all of these benefits uh, you can get from people who ask questions from your ad post because in my ad post people are asking questions like is it environment friendly is it cruelty free uh, and uh, does it have any odor so then you figure out all the answers for those questions and then write them down as benefits so you don't need this from day number one but you can keep building up the product page as your product keeps selling more and more and then of course as I told you FAQ or instructions come up right here this was a slightly technical product so we have a step-by-step -step instruction here how to apply how to remove how to store um, and then we of course have the five point happiness checklist the guarantees as I told you about and then this is the final CTA click add to cart above to order now limited quantity will sell out fast you'll also love these and then you have all the related products that people keep can buy and then of course you have all the other reviews again 51 reviews so this always looks good uh, a lot of it was imported from aliexpress a lot of it were our real customers uh, so it's a mix of that and then of course you have uh, the footer that comes up in the bottom which uh, has the credit card logos at the, at the bottom uh, the copyright all the links all of this of course uh, makes the person more comfortable and adds legitimacy uh, to your product page another example and of course uh, what you'll notice in this second example i've already covered the hydroponics led 
3D strip in uh, one of my videos earlier and you can go check that out. Uh, but what I've covered here is that this is a more slightly more technical product. So the way I talk to people in this product description is very different. So I start off with Howdy Grower because growers are people who will be probably using this product. Uh, and again, I got to know about these terms by researching about this niche, putting in some keywords, searching about full spectrum, about hydroponics, about LED grow strips. And then I looked at several blog posts and I found out that several keywords kept, kept coming up. First was grower, the second was full spectrum, uh, the third was LED strip. Uh, they were also interested in lifespan, uh, grow boxes, grow tents. Again, I have nothing to do with this entire niche, but still, once you do a little bit of research, you can find out the kind of words that they associate themselves with, the kind of words that they want to see on a product page if they're buying something in that niche, right? So you put in all these words. And again, uh, I use images to break up uh, the text. And then of course, again, the instructions and FAQs come up here, and then the guarantee and then the entire uh, thing they just it's just a simple blueprint that you can follow um, for pretty much all your product pages now one important thing to remember that i've seen a lot of beginners make mistake with is that they add a lot of white space so when you import uh, images or imp import uh, content from obello or zero up or dropify whichever platform you're using generally the description does import all the benefits uh, sorry all the product attributes but it also imports a lot of white spaces and random images so you want to remove white spaces you'll notice all the descriptions on my uh, product pages are tight all the images the description it's all tight there's no uh, white space that goes on and off uh, uh, and that definitely helps with your conversion rate and of course you guys know all of the countdown timer the scarcity and trust elements are already built inside the dropship theme so if you have not checked that out definitely check it out the link is in the description so now i want to hear from you were you able to find some value in this video do you now have more clarity on how i structure my product pages so that when you structure your product pages you'll be able to do a much better job going forward in the future and remember guys this is not that complicated the more you keep doing it the better you'll keep keep getting at it don't expect to become a copywriter wizard on your first attempt but yeah give it some time you'll make it if you did find value in this make sure you smash the thumbs up right below and make sure you subbed and bell to the flying start online channel and until next time okay tata bye bye